Oh, Johnny! This is for Put that one in. Pretend that one in. Well, um, let's pretend. We're very hungry and we want to go for some food shopping. Although, that's an advice. Do not go shopping when you're hungry. You end up buying things that you actually didn't want to buy, but no choice, you were hungry. Going to Armenian store, I just want to share what I usually buy from that store and then I'll do a quick review, uh, taste some things for you, and <laughs> taste for you. Um, and I'll show you what I make with certain things that I buy from Armenian store. Although I don't have any plan, any shopping list, um, I like shopping spontaneously. Uh, lists are kind of um, interfering with my shopping desires. So we're going and hope you like this. Um, this what? This episode. See you in the store. By the way, the store is in uh, North Hollywood and we live in Granada Hills but there are no decent Armenian stores in our uh, area so we have to drive how many minutes? 15? 20? 15. 15, depending on traffic. So yeah, that's why. Let's go. We're done with our shopping and someone is enjoying his ice cream already. One thing, you want to make sure you come to Armenian store, you buy Armenian ice cream. Although it's a CCCP, there was a time Armenia was in one of the CCCP uh, republics. So I guess the name is just to sound like vintage, but the ice cream is really good. It's simple. Um, Eskimo as we call it. Vanilla ice cream with chocolate thin chocolate layer crispy crunchy okay I'll see you home I'm gonna do very detailed um, review product review and taste testing when we get home so uh, I'll see you guys at home don't go anywhere
back home and now let's do some taste testing I'll show you quite a few tips and a few things probably non-Armenians would love to know in case they want to shop in Armenian stores and by the way this is not sponsored video uh, just for you to know I'm sharing my experience things I like things I prefer or the opposite anyways the bread I prefer is one of the most favorites of mine lavash I have a tutorial on the channel but I'm going to make another one without yeast and um, if you're buying lavash you want to make sure to pay attention in the ingredients there should be no yeast because lavash is a flat bread it doesn't need to rise or puff up so yeast is an extra ingredient and it's also not very good for you so you want to skip it um, yeah lavash I buy a lot if I see good kind if I see very fresh it freezes perfectly I simply uh, fold it like this and send it to my freezer you use it anytime you want to use just take it out let it come to room temperature and it's like fresh so when you get good lavash you find good lavash get quite a few boxes all right this is for lavash and I bought five packs with kids <laughs> and us also did some bertucci's you know bertucci is armenian sandwich because we were all very hungry and what else the greens greens i can live on greens and be happy never complain which i couldn't say the same about my kids okay imagine everyone just asks for greens and that's it the least expensive and the most um, healthy stuff I love and this is the season that you want to kind of pack up on greens the dandelion I have several recipes on the channel I have a dandelion salad I saute dandelion what else no soups with dandelion it has slight bitterness or maybe should I say very tough bitterness not everyone likes it but it's so so good for you and if you want to remove the bitterness slightly chop it small or large and let it sit in salted water discard the water wash it and some of the bitterness will disappear in case you don't prefer it I have, I have no problems with bitterness I even like it the other green chrysanthemum not probably not everyone enjoys or knows what kind of grain this is it's actually very good for you something and you don't have to even cook it because in armenia usually we saute this green with onions or without onions with some um eggs it's really delicious but here the, this wasn't the same kind i used to um, enjoy back in armenia the taste is exact the same but it doesn't look the same so the ones we had didn't have these um, juicy stems these are so good by themselves I know it's dirty but it doesn't matter it's so healthy it will have so much benefits that dirt won't bother you yeah this is probably oh no I have a recipe for this I'll link it in the description just watch it make it eat it it's very very good for you and especially these juicy stems see I'm giving you like inspiration another herb that I prefer buying and I never skip this is tarragon and I love how most mostly in Armenian stores they make really good bunches of tarragon um, and they're not like in a museum size box a few tarragon leaves in there and high price which I've seen in a few other markets so yeah if you like tarragon go to Armenian market get it it's always fresh always delicious and they give you a good bunch um, I'll give you the price the total price at the end you figure out was it worth it or no but every everywhere everything the prices went up drastically probably everyone is aware of it anyway we'll survive let's go uh, to the parsley which again see what kind of large bunch this is parsley good for you I use it almost with everything and anything oh did oh I, I thought I got two bunches of parsley so 
only in Armenian stores you will find mixed herbs. There is uh, basil, there is savory, citron in Armenian, there is parsley, there is dill, um, and cilantro. No, that's it. It's a lot of uh, um, variety and it's good for you to have just one bunch and there is everything. But since I, I use a lot of parsley, I get extra. And from other greens, cucumber. There is always good kind of cucumber in Armenian stores for good price and always fresh. We bought from Trader Joe's last week two boxes of cucumber. This is not the first time, not the second time. I always forget to tell the kids when you buy cucumber from Trader Joe's in those plastic bags and carton and plastic. They were all spoiled, very slimy, disgusting. So yeah, if you want good cucumbers, not slimy, buy it from Armenian stores. And no, this is not sponsored. All right, cucumbers. Actually, let me put the cucumbers in the bag because when they get, when I put them without a plastic bag in the fridge, they get very wrinkly like old. Some good stuff. I know everyone here is kind of used to salty, cheesy puffs, but you guys should try this. Doesn't matter. Don't look at the um, label, because if you see in this large package, um, corn puffs, sweet corn puffs. They are so much better. Although my kids, some of my kids say they love the cheesy version because they are kind of their food buds are buds, food buds, taste buds are uh, kind of Americanized. So they like the cheesy stuff, which I, I don't understand how they eat it. Sweet kind is like the best on this planet. A really good cheese. You've probably seen me using this cheese, Shipnik. It's feta cheese. Uh, sheep cheese, such a good um, kind of feta. I've tried quite a few. Um, try it. You will absolutely love this. What else do I buy from Armenian stores? German noodles, egg noodles. Um, you've seen me frying this or roasting toasting in a pan. I've, I've added some chickpeas, spices. Uh, I'll make it one day, although I made already, but maybe you forgot. It's so delicious. It's very quick to make, like a couple of minutes, and it's very filling, and kids love it. I got two because I had uh, two in my uh, pantry. I'm in love with this golden berries. Chisalis, I believe. They're super good for you. You can Google it. And you don't have to wash them. I think. It's so good. Just eat it. Um, I got some clean pistachios. Shelled pistachios. Just for some cooking purposes. I couldn't get the really green ones. Delicious. Never tried those. Also, raisins. All my children would love raisins when they were kids. Now they're kind of, um, they don't really care for them. But I love them, especially this kind. They are very meaty, very soft, and there's a lot of meat in it, if you know what I'm saying, you know? They're not like empty raisins. So this is good with um, rice, raisin the, with rice. I have it on my channel, we make it on Easter. I'll show you a recipe, probably you forgot. No one can explain why the candy is called bird's milk, but uh, you don't even care for the name when the candy is so good. It's dark chocolate, thin layer of chocolate, and marshmallow. But it's not like marshmallow you used to eat in general. It's a special marshmallow. It's like souffle. Lucy likes it. 
she's like a huge fan of this candy let me show you let me show you how thin the chocolate is look like thin thin i haven't tried this for ages mm -hmm. and it simply melts big he's full this guy the sounds you're hearing his nose sounds you want to try candy yeah. Ayo, chef? Yeah. take some for lucin lucin siruma anyway this is good not good for you but sometimes you just don't care like right now i don't care it's good heart candy with jam these are from childhood um these are the best kids like it it means it's a good candy and my kids Did you just say kids kids i said kids especially beck loves this and he's a kid you want some no no unfortunately or fortunately he don't want this candy i just want to show you how they look look this is simple hard candy you would think but then when you bite it Mm -hmm. it's a it's not a lemon jam although they called they are called what, what inside the inside the inside good in Nicaragua? no he says i never seen the inside jam i mean you you understood yes what he this said. is definitely jam mm -hmm. a brown jam he, he approved this is a jam definitely and it's so good with tea it's like but you don't simply chew it or bite it you just let it melt in your mouth and you get to that jam so good i got uh, a few of this with plum jam strawberry and this. cherry which one this no 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 i love all plum i love plum and cherry he loves all of them i have to hide this candy for him so he yes so he doesn't find it but he manages. He's so smart. How are you feeling, Mr. Beck? Are you feeling better? Kind of. Kind of. He'll be fine. Our guy had flu, now he has it. I think it's okay to get flu now, huh? Regular, classic, I think. So it's classic. Okay. Let's... Oh, tomatoes. Tomatoes! I'll be honest. I buy really good tomatoes from Trader Joe's. Their heirloom tomatoes are good. And they also had the wine tomatoes, really good. But in um, summertime, although it's not summertime, but real tomatoes, like uneven, kind of, uh, they call this field tomatoes. These are the tomatoes I, I used to eat grow, growing up. Like they need to look unperfect, not even it's just nostalgic they don't taste like they were supposed to be tasting but still good they look good like normal like real tomatoes that's why i always buy tomatoes these tomatoes really good yogurt bulgarian yogurt uh, a good kind of yogurt not armenian but us armenians were probably every one of us mm, had yogurt during his life <laughs> we have a lot of dishes that come with garlic yogurt or simple yogurt i love yogurt with some sugar and with bread pieces of bread with spoon try it you will fall in love it's not breakfast it's not dinner it's just good food for any time yogurt a bit salt salt teeny pinch of salt sugar a good amount to your taste or maybe honey if you don't like mm, sh using sugar and pieces of mm, let's say old a day old bread try it it's delicious also cheese armenian cheese it's called lori i haven't tried this kind sometimes i see a new label or new mm, mm, producer and I want to try all the lor cheese lorry I buy once in a while because it's super salty. I want to show you the texture and the look. It's very soft but not spreadable and it's so delicious at room temperature. I don't try it. My husband loves cheese. 
Mm. Mm. This is so much better than the ones we bought before. Mm. And this is more um, flat and soft with texture. The ones we got had like tiny, teeny, weeny holes. Super salty. This is really good. This one my favorite. Okay, cheese, tomato, lavash, herbs. That's it. You don't need anything else. And this is the love of my children. Pranicki. This is... Uh, I said children again, so... Yes. Mm -hmm. Now you know they ate the first pack of it. I always buy two packs. If I buy five packs, they'll eat all five of them. So two is okay. Right? Okay. I love you. We will eat them all in one second. You want to eat them all in one second? Okay, I'll go. <laughs> Let's see how Mr. Beck eats them. They call him Mr. Beck. In, uh, his teacher calls him Mr. Beck. Okay, Mr. Beck. Sometimes. Sometimes call him. Calls him. Okay, hang is still. Let me try to eat it in one second. What else? Okay, now something that if you ever try this preserves, you'll simply fall in love. It's a fresh, um, no, not fresh, young walnut preserves. The process is entire ceremony. It takes probably, I don't know, half a month, half month to prepare these preserves. I mean the preparation of walnuts. They, they choose very young walnuts. They, they don't have that you know, thick or hard shell or uh, yet. And then they clean the skin. They poke it. They leave it in lime salt for, I think, no, First they leave it in water and then in lime salt water. I don't know. I've never made it. I don't want to make it. I want to just enjoy it. The process is so much time taking, so much hard work needs to be done in order to create this deliciousness. The result is well worth it, but yeah, I prefer the result only. If you see ever walnut preserves, buy it, try it and remember my magic words. Delicious. Let's see if this is a good good one. Because sometimes they they make it but they don't spend good effort on it. It has to be flavorful with um, cinnamon, cloves, those flavors. Because basically walnuts don't have any flavor. Mm, that's why they need some help from those spices. I don't sm smell the spices. This is the inside. It doesn't look, look appetizing, I think, but it's really delicious. Not this kind specifically, but my mom sometimes sends me from Armenia if someone is coming over. Mm. But this is really good. It happens because I'm going to do it. I'll, I'll be adding some clove, powdered clove and cinnamon to this and let, let it at room temperature, although once in a while I put preserves it uh, in the fridge. Uh, without those spices or aromatic spices, mm, this is just sweet something. Okay, uh, just a little disappointment, but yeah, I'll add the spices, it will be much better. I'll let it to absorb all the goodness. Okay, but walnut preserve is one of the queens of preserves. One of the queens. Yeah, could be. There are several queens. Simple red delicious apples. The price is much better in Armenian store. <laughs> well, my kids can survive on these red apples. If I buy, I buy a lot, but I didn't buy this much because um, this time too many because I didn't feel like they are the freshest, not freshly picked. So, but I got a, a, a few. Better than nothing. What else? Oh, they had such artistic pears already. Although we have pears at home, but look, when pear is ripe and this 
beautiful yellow color it reminds me of a fall uh, and I love fall because of colorful and kind of um, ripe and juicy fruits pears are the main fruit for me for fall season what else? oh this is my favorite kind of lentils small lentils because you cook them they never this uh, they don't lose their form and they're still delicious cook fast number one bulgur i always buy it i have lots of recipes with bulgur i'm planning to make some tolma um we'll see if i film it or just make it okay. fish trout is always almost always super fresh in Arlenia stores because if it's not fresh they're not gonna give it to you they'll let you know actually i don't think anyone will save not fresh fish uh, i've been uh, i have experienced <laughs> purchasing not fish not fresh fish i, I, I don't want to touch the fish because it's it smells like fish and i don't want to be fishy okay regular trout i'll make something trout tarragon their best friends. Chickpeas. I never buy canned chickpeas unless I really have to do something, let's say ASAP. I buy it. Other than that, it's always self cooked chickpeas. A kind of fish that's, that will help you to make quick dinner. Simply boil some potatoes with light salt because the fish is salty some onion rings on top of the fish and that's it you don't need anything and probably a um, bottle of beer and that's it that's the perfect dinner what else oh we never buy soda i'll be honest we haven't purchased any cola mola or those kind of um, drinks for ages i forgot over three years we haven't purchased anything but these delicious sweet uh, soda drinks and a small reminder of childhood and unfortunately some children for example mr beck they love this tarragon drink is one of their favorites and then there is something children and also stop saying children because every time i say children he, he thinks i'm calling him with him. You want to try this? Yeah, you want to taste this? I hope. Taste this what? The tarragon drink. Okay, sure. Yeah, sure. Such a strict young man. It's super good. Try it once. You don't have to try it all the time. But some good stuff needs to be taken care of. It's good when it's chilled. Mm -hmm. We'll wait for wait, the results. Said yum. Yeah, he already said yum. If you haven't heard him, that's already your problem. This it's called Duches. It's a um, pear uh, soda. Let's say we, we yeah, call everything that. lemonade. Hi, Jan. I never heard that. You yeah, never heard of it? Yeah, I never bought this one. Uh, I filmed this on my Russian channel. They advised me because this is a Russian product from Russia. They advised me to take. Uh, Duchesse, it's good. You won't regret it. I remember I read a comment and they also told me to try Baikal. Baikal, I think it's like Kwasaram. I don't know. I haven't tried this pineapple? one. Pineapple? No, not pineapple. This is pear. Mm, okay. but it smells good already. It smells so good. I can smell it. I mean, hmm. It's not very flavorful as um, aromatic. You want to try Aram? It's not bad, but it's not flavorful. The good thing is not too sweet. None of these drinks are... Hajan? Tarragon soda, of course, come. I like it. You like it? I want to try Baikal. I think it's... Can I try this thing? This one? Who's the one? Tarragon. Tarragon? See, they're Tarragon friends. I love how I like that. Oh, yeah, he's a Here you go, Mr. Arka. 
from Jaden. But I had it in a long time. You didn't have it in a long time. A week ago we bought it. I made an exclusive <laughs> exception. You, you, you drink all of it. You drink <laughs> all of it. The thing. Uh, they were okay. To be honest, they left it this much. I didn't want to put entire bottle in my fridge because there was no space in my fridge. So I had to drink it. I had no choice. And then they asked me, Mom, is there any tarragon left? I said, no, I drink it because I wanted to empty out. And now, turns out, I drank it all. Children, mm -hmm. children. But we still love you, Arka. Mm -hmm. We, I drink it all. Okay, this is good. This is, my husband liked it. I liked it, but I didn't feel that Duchess, the one from childhood, was so aromatic. Or maybe as a child I had different taste buds. Aka, you want to try this one? Mm -mm. No. I want to try pear. Pear, okay. We'll see what Mr. Beck says about pear. I think it's not flavorful. I think it's not flavorful. Don't trust me. Trust yourself. It smells good. It smells good, yeah. You can smell? Like, too good. Oh, it's too good. I'm, I'm telling you, it's very aromatic when you smell it. Oh my god, my huh. lip is just on fire for a second. Literally, fire! Literally. Now my tongue. Now your tongue, because it's soda. Oh, soda? Mm-hmm. Oh. Is it tarragon the soda? Yes. Oh. We call it soda drink. I mean, Americans call this kind of drink soda. We call it like, how do we uh, um, translate? Soda? Uh, something that has gas in it. <laughs> Not gas, I mean, it's bubbly. Translate for me, please. Oh my gosh, look how bubbly it is. You know me? It's okay, it's not kvass, Aram. But, mm, it's not good. Um, хорош, oh, I don't know why I switched to Russian for some reason. Probably the drink is from Russia. It made me talk Russian. Magic drink, buy it, try it. It's good, Aram, you try it. What, it reminds me like root beer? Yeah. Ha, root beer. And let's try. Me. If there's root beer. Okay, she's not. If there's root beer thing, I don't, if I it's don't like, thing. if I don't like root beer honey, but what if I like root beer soda? Okay, drink your douches. Get well soon. Oh, oh damn. That's a sign I'm still uh, sick. Don't talk to me too much. Okay, what else? Last time I purchased caviar, eggplant caviar, and I didn't really enjoy the taste. My subscribers from Russian channel advised me to get this kind and try it. So by their advice, I'm gonna try this kind and let you know. The one and only kind of bread you want to try the eggplant caviar with. And I have it on my channel, eggplant caviar. I'll link it in the description. Rye bread. It's like made to be uh, enjoyed with caviar. And even regular caviar. Uh, rye bread is so good. And I'll, I'll make sure to share my sourdough starter recipe. I'm, although it's not a recipe, it's a long story. Anyway, I'll share all the recipes and I'll make sourdough on this channel as well. So every time you open a can, well, my mom used to do that, my grandma used to do it, they would always remove this first part. Let's call it the first part. And then try it. Let's see if it's really delicious. I had some really good reviews for this caviar. It's good. I'm used to really flavorful everything. Again, my taste buds <laughs> probably changed a little. Mm. But it's not it's not bad caviar. Mm. It's really mm -hmm. pairing so good with bread. Hajan. The same mouth. Oh. 
Maybe I should take one. Because of course. That's good. Okay. Well, that's all of them. Huh? Was nice. You're done? You want more? Yes, this one? Yes. He thinks he's in a, in a bar and I'm a bar woman. Mm -hmm. It's on the house. Enjoy. Let's see what Mr. Beck thinks. Weird. Weird. Yeah, for him it's weird. He's not used to that taste. Ground meat, they always grind fresh for you, unless it's not fresh, but it looks very bright and meaty. Red pepper paste, if I don't make red pepper paste, I buy it, and they didn't have a lot of varieties. Herine red pepper paste, make it, try it, it's something you need to have on hand. And this is my favorite candy. I thought since I'm a kid, uh, they say if your parents are, I want this. are on this planet, you're still a kid. You like it? Do you like it? I think some. Yeah. One of them used to like this candy. How do we eat? I think okay. I think I call or not quite do. Um. Okay. I'll make sure to hide it. Someone likes my candy. I have yeah. a good hiding spot that everyone knows about. Huh? You wanna try? Mm, yes. Okay, we have a new candy? taste tester guy. Okay, try. No, this isn't candy. It's really good candy. It's like chocolate, caramel, and some kind of. Um, it's not jam, but it does look like jam. Huh? No, it's not marshmallow. It's caramel candy. Oh, I don't want to go with caramel. It's hard candy with chocolate and some sort of filling. And it's so delicious, especially when it's fresh. And it's fresh. Mm, really fresh. I'll finish it. I love fresh stuff. Fresh food. Buckwheat, another one of my favorite grains. I love it, I make it, fortunately, everyone in my family eats buckwheat, we call it buckwheat pilaf. I have it on my channel, Harine Buckwheat, you'll see all my recipes. I even have really good salad with buckwheat. Try it, it's good for you. Oh, this kind of cheese you would probably, I don't know how appetizing and interesting it looks by the packaging, but it's a really good cheese. I make pizza with this cheese instead of mozzarella it's spiced it has oregano it has uh, chili flakes olive oil garlic it's it's really good cheese it's good to eat if you like spicy flavorful cheeses and it's also good to melt it make pizza or simply sandwiches it's it's a good cheese kids prefer this kind of strained yogurt uh, not my favorite um, i prefer making my own and then making my own strained yogurt but apparently sometimes kids not sometimes most of the time kids like store made store bought uh, this is one of those it's a spice called khmeli soneli it has coriander cumin um, hold on let's see if i can see the spices because sometimes these people make all the ingredients so tiny okay it has coriander salt coriander seeds, salt, fenugreek, sweet paprika, basil, bay leaf, chili, red hot pepper, turmeric, mint, marjoram, that's it. And I read it all by myself. Yeah, it's a good spice for um, poultry, even for fish it's good, but especially for poultry it's a very suggested spice. It's from Georgian you know, cuisine, I should say. I love this cabbage kind, this kind of a cabbage, let me show you, it's like flat cabbage, it's very good to make cabbage rolls, let's say, the leaves are more tender, um, it's easier to separate the leaves, it's lighter in weight, anyway, it's a real, a real good cabbage, if you ask me, and 
it's good to make um, you can even not pickle pickle it put it in a salted brine okay this is for dolma or cabbage uh, fat cabbage leaves regular simple how this was called oh my god i know hmm lee i know the word i knew it i used it a lot okay hold on <laughs> by the time i went to siri my husband said it's radica radish we need to remember the word rad and we'll remember this radish it's good for you super good for you not the most um, pleasantly aromatic vegetable but it's super good for you you can make really good salads with it with lettuce romaine lettuce and radish so good it's like they're born for each other no reasonable person would ever buy nectarines in this season but it happens sometimes they really good like aromatic and delicious and kids love it i just want to smell them i'm not gonna try them no aroma whatsoever i regret buying them and i want to make sure i really don't ever again buy them because sometimes i just want to show you the inside if it if it looks like this you figure out uh -huh, they were frozen and then defrosted so yeah never buy this is second time it's happening but previously in this season we purchased they were really good anyway let me show you the package so you never ever so this one in this season don't buy it it's bad we're almost there hang on hang on you're not used to me cooking this much at one time cabbage but this one is for uh, borscht i'm going to be making soup uh, so yeah this is more tougher harder and the leaves are more thicker than this one mm -hmm. oh red cabbage what happened to me why did i get so many different cabbages i thought i'll make a salad it's good for you and i don't know i wanted to get red cabbage look like mother um oldest child youngest child <laughs> mother father child i would say really good looking mother peppers Anaheim peppers mm, i don't know i always get them although i don't know and never it happens that i i don't see really fresh and good looking ones i i had to choose like almost like five minutes and still when you see the tips are kind of damaged destroyed it means it's not good and the stems you see it means they're not fresh but i had to take it because i'm making bosch and jalapenos are my best friends i always get them i eat them alone all by myself except for me no one in my family eats jalapeno just like that and carrots again for borscht it's a soup you know in case you don't know i'll probably make it one more time i made it already on this channel this time i want to make it slightly differently i have um, beetroot in my fridge so it's a few ingredients for that soup that i purchased and also let me show you something sometimes you would ask me where do i get my puff pastry because it's really good looking i buy it from armenian stores again and i always would reply it's from armenian stores and they would ask me what brand is it it's a no brand meaning there is nothing on the package it means this is a good kind they have also also with label from manufacturer or maker those are not as good as this i think because i've tried i i can smell like um, the margarine part very like strongly these are more better although all puff pastry are mm -hmm. something that's not very very good for you mom time 
excuse me, can he use his animal jam time, my amazing viewers and subscribers? They say no. They say yes. Yay. Say thank you for thank watching. You. Thank, thank you. you for subscribing thank and liking my Thank you for videos. watching and subscribing my mom's videos. <laughs> and liking. And liking. Now I can go. He's becoming such a shy young man. Remember him when he was a little boy? He was always interfering, talking more than I talk. And that's almost impossible. Anyways, I hope you like this. Uh, episode I hope you oh hold on with my hopes how much did we pay for all this goodness 277 33 cents that was the total anyway in case you were interested yeah maybe your comments suggestions what would you mostly prefer reviewing or tasting or sharing although i'll be cooking most of the time but i also want to do some mix and match vlogs shopping reviewing so yeah i want to keep everything in like happy and energetic mode thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being with me i appreciate it and i'll see you soon